Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. In this video I will explain how to disable audio output on client computers. We're actually preventing domain users from hearing anything on the computer by disabling the audio output. Group policy on Windows Server allows you to disable devices from Device Manager, so you can create a GPO to disable sound, and thus domain users will not be able to use headphones. By default, the domain user can control the sound output by increasing or decreasing the volume, and if you open the Device Manager window, you will find that the device responsible for the sound is listed and working in the Device Manager. And I will explain to you step by step how to disable a device from the Device Manager window via the Group Policy in Windows Server then through the server. Open the server manager dashboard. From there, click on the tools menu, and from the menu click on group policy management console. Then, click to expand the four set from the left, and select the domain that you will work on. Then right click on the organizational unit you want, to apply the policy to. And select create a GPO in this domain, and link it here. In the new GPO window, Enter an appropriate name for this policy, so that you can quickly access the policy later. Then click OK button. Then right click on the GPO that was just created. And select edit. This will open the group policy management editor window. On the left side click to expand the policies, under computer configuration. Then click to expand administrative templates, and under it click to expand the system folder. Then expand the device installation folder, and select device installation restrictions, then move to the other side, for the policies available for device installation restrictions. Then double click on the policy called prevent installation, of devices that match any of these device IDs. Select the option enable this policy. But you will need the device IDs, so that you can add it to this list. To find the device IDs, open the client computers again, and I will explain to you how to find the device IDs. From Device Manager, right-click on the device whose IDs you want to find out, and click on Properties. Then click on the Details tab, and under Property, click on the drop-down menu, and select Hardware IDs. And then you will find, the device IDs at the bottom. Copy the first line, and I will then paste it into the list, of devices that we want to disable in the Group Policy. Paste the device IDs, and then click on OK, then click on the Apply button and OK thus, the device IDs for the audio device, have been added and thus audio output will be prevented from working, on the client computer. Then go to the client computer again, to verify that the new policy is applied to it. Before anything, you must restart the computer, or enter the group policy update command. But it is better to restart the computer. Now if you click on the audio icon, on the taskbar, it will show you no audio output devices installed, meaning that the audio output has actually been disabled, by disabling the device from Device Manager. And when you open Device Manager, you will actually find that the device responsible for outputting sound, on the computer has been disabled, and therefore the user will not be able to enable it again. These are all the steps to disable audio output, for domain users through group policy, thank you for watching. I hope the video is useful to you. I also hope to subscribe to my channel. Thank you all.